the very basics. Of course, again, you need to make sure this is APEX 4.1. We had considered uh, making it uh, usable in 4.0 as well. The current plugin, however, is not going to install into 4.0. Oh, if we get enough requests, I suppose we could um, work a little magic there and get it available on the 4.0 platform as well. Uh, all you have to do is go to our site, download the plugin. You can go to skillbuilders.com slash plugins, and you'll see the Super LOV plugin there. You can click the download link. You do have to register with our site, so of course we can spam you with our various events and such. It's quite a good trade-off, I think, uh, and in favor of, of the people downloading, of course, that's you guys. Uh, so go ahead and download the plugin, and that will give you a zip file. The zip file you can extract to your local uh, system, and then you need to upload one of the files within it for the import. Um, let me show you how that's done. So here I am in the sample application that is supplied with Apex. If you're looking at this thinking it doesn't look quite right, it's because it was overhauled quite a bit with the 4.1 release, and that's the version we're looking at here. Uh, it's a basic app, shows you customers, products, orders, and so on. And what I want to go to is the order portion here, and we'll go to enter a new order. And the reason I come here in this app is because uh, this has a little pop-up list of values item right here. So this is the standard pop-up list of values that comes with Apex. It works quite well. As you can see, you can make your selection. And what you see here is one thing. That's the display value. But behind the scenes, there's a return value. And when I click Next, that return value is just entered into session state. That's the basis of a pop-up LOV like this, if we check session state, and we see the customer ID item here, the value that was actually entered was not uh, William Hartsfield, but rather his unique ID, which is two. So what we're going to do is convert this item over to Super LOV. And to start that, of course, we need to install the plugin. I'm going to go to our shared components. And I'm looking under user interface, going down to plugins. And this application does already have an existing plugin, pretty neat one actually from Oracle. And to install the new one, we need to import uh, the, the files. Of course, you'll have already downloaded the files from our site. You'll have extracted the zip files so that you have access to the files within. And then you'll come into your application and go to import. You can browse your files to find the one you're looking for. And this is the file within the zip file that you're going to be using. It starts with item, it's the really long one, ends with .sql if you see your extensions on the files. Just select that file and click Next. That will upload the file to Apex, at which point you can continue the installation process. When you get to this step, it's happened in the past where this defaults to the wrong application. So make sure if you have lots of apps and you've just installed another plugin that you have the correct application selected here and install the plugin. What does that tell you? Well, it should tell you that plugins are application level. They are not workspace level. So we're installing it into this application. And you can rest assured that when you propagate this application from, say, production, or I'm sorry, from dev to test or production, QA, whatever it may be, that the plugin will go along with the application, becomes a part of the app, essentially. Pardon me, Dan. A couple of questions in the queue. As you would expect, we're getting some questions on 4.0. I think you might have said supported in 4.1 for this particular plugin. I'm not quite sure the exact verbiage you use there, but do you think it would work? <laughs> do you think it would work on 4.0? It, 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 will it experience problems? There, there are some complexities there that I was hoping to avoid, but if, uh, if, if people want to use the plugin in, in 4.0, and, and just given by the number of questions you have already, I'll go ahead and uh, redo the download. I'd ask that 
folks, you, you give me maybe uh, till tomorrow, and, and I'll make sure to port this over to 4.0. The main difference between 4.0 and 4.1, one of the complications I was hoping to avoid, has to do with the version of jQuery UI that the Apex team uses. And this is something that we're going to see going forward. The best uh, way to handle it, I don't think we've quite yet established, but Apex 4.0 used version X of jQuery UI. And Apex 4.1 uses version Y. Uh, slightly different, not a major release. In fact, it was just a patch release, but it was enough to cause some issues when it came to the, the UI, the rendering side of things. So when I get to the part in today's demonstration, I will uh, explain some of the differences that you'll have to be aware of in 4.0 and 4.1, and you'll just have to handle them accordingly on your side. But I will make it available for 4.0 for, for uh, in the very near future. Thanks, Dan. OK, everybody, you made Dan work, work overtime, so make sure you thank him. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dan. Sure, no problem. And if uh, if, if you're not already following me on, on Twitter, uh, you, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, it's just uh, Dean again, and I'll announce when, when the download has been updated for, for 4.0, so you can be aware and get that as soon as it's ready. All right, uh, continuing on here, what we've done thus far, we've simply installed the plugin. Where you land after installation is sort of in the plugin edit screen. So if we go back a step using the breadcrumbs, we're looking at the various plugins installed in the application. You see the new one here, SuperLOV 2.0. And if we drill into it, you see the uh, settings. Okay, There's actually a whole lot going on here. Quite frankly, most of this is for plugin developers, not plugin users. Uh, and the part for plugin users is really just the settings here. And we'll be looking at all the options within there in just a little bit. But that's usually all you have to be concerned with. Of course, if you'd like to make changes to the plugin, uh, you're, you're more than free to do so. It's, it's an open source uh, plugin. We have all of the source code available and packaged away with what you'll be downloading. So if you'd like to make changes to it, you're free to do so. All right, now that we've installed the plugin, we can go ahead and put it to use. I'm going to uh, really quickly in just another time, I'm going to show you the page again. This is the current page. And we'll take one last look at the pop-up LOV that's in Apex by default. And now we'll convert it. 